good for me and my team to go watch the college game. Some of it was the first game. Uh, they had really good seats. Uh, they came out with a good win. Uh, I think it was great for me to get out there, uh, look at some of the fans, take pictures with them, uh, see how Coach Roy and his team was doing. I think it was a good visit for me. Now, you were there for a game earlier this year. Anything different you took away from this one as opposed to the first game you went to? Yeah, I mean, the first game, I wasn't really as looking as close as I am now. I mean, I'm getting to the point where I'm, I'm down to four, so I'm a little bit looking into more. So I was looking at the playing style. Justin Jackson had a really good game. So that's somebody I'm really looking at, uh, how they're uh, using him. But overall, it was a great win, and uh, I'm really impressed with him. What did you see from how they used uh, Jackson? Uh, he's been able to rebound and be able to dribble. Uh, he's coming off screens, being able to shoot jump shots, get to the basket. Uh, they're just using it everywhere. And I, I like that, and that's something I, I like about uh, Justin Jackson's game. Did you get a chance to talk to the coaching staff at all while you were there? Uh, no, I wasn't able to talk to any of them. Uh, there's some rules and violations, so I wasn't able to talk to none of them. I know you, you visited Durham as well. Can you talk about your trip to Cameron? Yeah, I mean, I visited there uh, with my team. We practiced in the practice arena, uh, walked around, got a tour, went to the Cameron, uh, Coach K's course. So it was great. I mean, another good experience for me and my team. Uh, I wasn't able to talk to any of the coaches, but it was just good to be there on campus. Did you ever get a chance to um, sit back and watch any of the games from me? Oh, yeah. every All four of my schools, every time they play, I got them set. I always watch the games, the players they tell me to watch and everything. So. I'm always watching the, the teams in my four, and I'm just looking really closely now. How close are you to a decision? Oh uh, yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna end up waiting until after the season. Okay. Uh, focus on winning the state championship, getting a good ring for me and my team. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna wait. I'm gonna think in late February, early March. So that's around the timeline. Hey, let me ask you. Your dad was a trainer growing up. Mm -hmm. Did you like it? Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, he's been to the NFL, he's been to college, uh, played national championships, won national, so he knows what it takes to get there. But did you like the training? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we he worked out a lot. I mean, there was times where I would play video games and stuff like that. He said, go get your shoes on, I'm going to the field, but, I mean, it's paying off. I mean, back then, I mean, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this, I would get mad and stuff, but... As you can see, it's, it's paying off. Uh, he knows what it takes. So, uh, as right now, I'm, I'm really like the training because I know that's what I need to get to the next level. I got to keep getting better. So that's something I really like about him. His work ethic. Does it ever get tiring? You know, when you go to these different gyms and mm -hmm. you are always looking over your shoulder. And as always, you know, the coaches are recruiting you there. No, I like that. I like to play in front of these big crowds and play on the road. That's just something about me. I like. I don't like to play really at home. I like to play on the road. People, the fans against you and everything. That's something I like. And it's a great atmosphere. A lot of coaches here watching. So that's something I really like. Coach Williams, as well as Coach Capel, were here for you tonight. Uh, did they give you a message coming into the game? Yeah, they, they both texted me saying uh, if I'm ready tonight, uh, they will be in attendance. Uh, tomorrow, actually, Coach Cal and, um, from Kentucky and Coach KP will be here. Uh, they texted me earlier this week. So they'll be here to, uh, tomorrow to watch the championship game. So, I mean, it, it's, it's great seeing both the schools here. I need North Carolina and Duke real close, so I knew they was going to come up. They'll probably be here again tomorrow. So it's great to see them support. In terms of the other three schools, we went over with North Carolina a little bit. Um, what about Florida State? Um, they're in the picture, obviously. What's been their message to you? I mean, right now they're doing really well. I think they've lost one game. They're in the top 25. They're moving up really well. So they beat Wake Forest the other, uh, last yesterday, I think it was. So I watched that game. Uh, Bacon and uh, Jonathan Isaac are doing really well. I mean, the message basically, I'll come in, I'll get the minutes I, minutes I want, get the shots I want, and be able to uh, be a leader on the team and come in and fill in Isaac's spot and Bacon's spot and scoring and doing everything. So that's basically been their message. And Coach Kevin Perry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people uh, said with the Jared Vanderbilt commitment that I wasn't kind of knocked them off, but that's not true. I mean, Coach, me and Coach Cal talked. Uh, that, that's not the case. Uh, just because Jared committed doesn't mean they're off. Uh, me and Jared play alike, but we can definitely play together. That's something that uh, Coach Cal talked to me about. Uh, if they were to land Hamadou Diallo, would that knock them off? Uh, no, not at all. Me and Hamadou don't play the same position. Right. Hamadou's more of a two. I'm more of a three, four, uh, like play mostly a three. But I mean, me, me and Hamdu talk a lot. Uh, everybody talks a lot. So, I mean, Hamdu's decision don't really have nothing to do with anything. And Duke as well. Yeah, Duke, I mean, their best is basically being Jason's going to leave, uh, Harry's going to leave, Grayson and Luke are playing really well. So, I have a lot of people leaving. And then uh, the people coming in, I'm really good friends with. So, I talk to them a lot. Um, Duke's message basically come in, same thing. I get a lot of minutes get what I need, and a coach will get me to the next level. Do they view you more as a stretch four or three? Uh, they told me I used to, I'll used play on the wing at the three, okay. and then there'll be certain lineups. I could play a stretch four, be able to handle the ball a little bit, so be a, mis a matchup problem. So that's basically what they told me. 
Uh, two years ago, each one teach one. John Isaac, mm-hmm. teammate, Tony Rally, teammate. So it's kind of a different dimension to it all. Yeah. Those guys had to tell you anything? Oh, yeah. Tony uh, Tony texted me after the game yesterday at UNC to see if I liked it and everything. I had a good time. So I was going to hang out with him after, but I don't think I could. So, I mean, it was good. I talked to Tony a lot. Then Jonathan, I talked to him a lot because I, I uh, more play like him. So he, he kind of gave me a lot of tips. So I talked to him the most out of the two. I mean, Jonathan, he's really big on trying to give me the FSU and come in and step up in his spot. So he's doing really well this year. I'm, I'm going to keep supporting him. What do you think this decision will ultimately come down to? Uh, I mean, I'm looking more now into playing style, uh, how the people, uh, they're, um, they told me to watch, how they're using him. Uh, I like to run. You can see I like to get out in transition, play fast. And all four of the schools on my list actually lead in some, some way in the country at transition points. Mm-hmm. So that's something I really like. And those, those things I look more into with my family uh, will make a good decision, uh, pray about it and everything, and they'll lead me the right way. In your downtime, what have you been working on in terms of skill and your body as well? Yes, I mean, I, I've been working a lot lately on my uh, skill. I mean, working my ball handling, getting that a little tighter, uh, getting that better, uh, then more consistent uh, on my three-point shot. I knocked a couple down today, but I feel like I could have made a little bit more. But that's something that uh, those two things right now I'm working on, and a lot of people say if I get those two things right, I'll be a really, really good player. Thank you very much.